In a world that never seems to stop, how do we find stillness? The answer lies in a practice called mindfulness, a core element in Buddha's teachings. Mindfulness, in its simplest form, is about being completely present in the moment. It's about experiencing life as it unfolds, without judgment or distraction. This practice has its roots deep within Buddhism, where it serves as the cornerstone of Buddha's teachings. Buddha advocated mindfulness as a pathway to enlightenment, a method to experience the true nature of reality. This awareness shatters the illusions we often live under, the illusions that keep us entangled in suffering and discontentment. Mindfulness, as Buddha taught, is much more than a meditation technique. It's a way of life, a way of relating to our experiences with an open heart and a clear mind. It's about stepping out of the whirlwind of thoughts and emotions and connecting with the stillness within. It's about seeing clearly, understanding deeply and living fully. Imagine living each moment with such depth of awareness that you can feel the gentle rhythm of your breath, the soft whisper of the wind, the vibrant dance of colors around you. Imagine being so attuned to your emotions that you can watch them rise and fall without becoming entangled in them. Imagine having such clarity of mind that you can observe your thoughts without being swept away by them. This is the power of mindfulness, the gift that Buddha has bestowed upon humanity. But how do we cultivate this mindfulness? Buddha offered a clear pathway, a systematic approach to developing deep awareness. This pathway is known as the Four Foundations of Mindfulness, a practice that leads us to a profound understanding of ourselves and our reality. These four foundations are not just techniques, they are lenses through which we can view our existence. They are the body, feelings, mind and phenomena. Each foundation helps us to explore a different dimension of our experience, leading us to a deeper understanding of who we are and what this world is. Mindfulness, as taught by Buddha, is not merely a practice, but a pathway to enlightenment. And at the heart of this pathway lie the four foundations of mindfulness. The first foundation of mindfulness is the body. But what does it mean? to be mindful of our bodies? This question may sound simple, but the answer is profound. When we speak of body mindfulness, we're talking about a deep awareness of our physical existence. It's more than just feeling the chair beneath you or the clothes against your skin. It's about recognizing the body as a living, breathing entity, a vessel that carries you through life's journey. Think about it. When was the last time you truly felt your body? Not just when you were in pain or discomfort, but when you were simply being. Have you ever noticed how your heart beats, how your lungs expand and contract, or how your muscles flex and relax? This awareness is what Buddha referred to as kaya, or mindfulness of the body. It's about being fully present, fully alive in this very moment. It's about grounding ourselves in the here and now instead of getting lost in thoughts about the past or worries about the future. And that brings us to the breath. The breath is our anchor, our lifeline to the present moment. It is always with us, always changing, always flowing. As we breathe in, we bring fresh energy into our bodies. As we breathe out, we release what no longer serves us. To practice body mindfulness, we start by observing the breath. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in and feel the air filling your lungs. Hold it for a moment, then exhale slowly, feeling the air leave your body. Notice how your chest rises and falls, how your belly expands and contracts. This is your body, alive and breathing. Now extend this awareness to the rest of your body. Feel the weight of your body against the chair or the floor. Notice any sensations in your body, be they comfort or discomfort, warmth or coolness. Observe them without judgment without trying to change anything. Just be with your body as it is in this moment. This practice may seem simple, but its effects are profound. By observing our bodies and our breath, we connect to the present moment, grounding ourselves in the here and now. We learn to appreciate our bodies, not for how they look or what they can do, but for the simple fact that they are alive, that they are here. So. Let's take a moment to appreciate our bodies, to feel the breath flowing in and out, to be here now fully present and alive. This is the first foundation of mindfulness, the body, and it all starts with a single breath.
Moving inward, the second foundation of mindfulness is feelings. But how can we be mindful of something so intangible? That's where our breath comes in. Just as our breath is the life force sustaining our body, it also serves as a bridge, a conduit, connecting us to our feelings. In the teachings of Buddha, feelings are not just emotions. They encompass a broader spectrum, including the subtle sensations that arise and pass away in our body. These sensations, these feelings, are in constant flux, much like the rhythm of our breath. They arise, they linger, they pass away. One moment they're here, the next they're gone, like the ebb and flow of the tide. The key to mindfulness of feelings is to observe this ever-changing tide without getting swept away. It's about acknowledging that feelings are not facts. They don't define us. They are not the unchanging, solid entities we sometimes make them out to be. They are transitory, ephemeral, like a cloud passing in the sky. Now, let's explore a simple practice to cultivate mindfulness of feelings. Begin by finding a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. As you breathe in, acknowledge the sensation of the breath entering your body. As you breathe out, notice the sensation of the breath leaving your body. Just observe without trying to change anything. As you settle into this rhythm, gently turn your attention to your feelings. What sensations are arising in your body? What emotions are present? Without labeling or judging, just observe. You might notice a sense of calm or perhaps unease. You might notice the subtle sensation of your heart beating or the tension in your shoulders. Whatever you notice, just observe. If you find your mind wandering, gently bring it back to your breath. Your breath is your anchor, your safe harbor amidst the changing tide of feelings. As you continue this practice, you'll start to notice a shift. You might find that feelings lose their intensity when observed without judgment. You might find that you're less likely to react impulsively to your feelings and more likely to respond with wisdom and compassion. This is the power of mindfulness of feelings. By observing our feelings without judgment, we learn to respond, not react, a key step towards inner peace. As we cultivate this awareness, we begin to see the world and ourselves with greater clarity. We begin to understand that feelings, like the breath, are a natural part of life, arising and passing away in their own rhythm. And in this understanding, we find a sense of peace, a sense of freedom. So keep breathing, keep observing, keep exploring the landscape of your feelings, and remember, the journey is the destination. The third foundation of mindfulness takes us deeper into our inner world, to the mind itself. A fascinating yet elusive part of our existence, the mind is often perceived as a never-ending stream of thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. But what if we could step back and observe this stream, not as an active participant, but as a silent, detached observer. This is the essence of mindfulness of the mind. In the teachings of Buddha, the mind is not just a vessel for thoughts and emotions, but a dynamic entity that shapes our perception of reality. Just as a turbulent sea can distort the reflection of the moon, an agitated mind can distort our perception of reality. The practice of mindfulness allows us to calm this turbulent sea, providing a clearer, more accurate reflection of the world around us. But how does breath awareness tie into this? Imagine your breath as an anchor, a constant amidst the ever-changing sea of thoughts and emotions. By focusing on your breath, you provide your mind with a point of stability, a point of return whenever it gets swept away by the currents of thought. This practice of breath awareness is not about suppressing thoughts or achieving a state of thoughtlessness. Instead, it's about observing the mind without judgment, watching thoughts come and go, just as we watch the rise and fall of our breath. Now let's practice mindfulness of the mind. Find a comfortable position, close your eyes, and bring your attention to your breath. Observe how your breath flows in and out, how it rises and falls. As thoughts arise, simply acknowledge them and let them go, returning your attention to your breath. Remember, this is not a battle against your thoughts, but a gentle observation of your mind's activity. As you continue this practice, you may begin to notice patterns in your thoughts, patterns that were previously hidden beneath the surface of conscious awareness. You may notice how certain thoughts trigger certain emotions, how certain situations trigger certain thought patterns. This awareness is the first step towards transformation, towards a mind that is not a slave to its thoughts, 
but a master of them. As you journey deeper into mindfulness, remember that this is not a one-time practice, but a continuous journey of discovery and transformation. It's not about reaching a destination, but about embracing the journey, about cultivating a deep, intimate relationship with your mind, breath, and the reality they create. By observing our mind, we discover its patterns and habits, gaining insights that can lead to transformation. The mind, once a mystery, becomes a familiar friend, a powerful ally in our journey towards enlightenment. And all it takes is a moment of mindfulness, a moment of silent observation amid the ceaseless chatter of our thoughts. The final foundation of mindfulness takes us beyond our personal experience to the world around us, phenomena. This is where mindful observation extends to the external world and its happenings, known in Pali as Dhammas. Dhammas refer to the laws of nature that govern the universe. It encompasses everything we encounter, from the rising sun to the falling rain, from the changing seasons to the bustling city streets. Each of these phenomena, though seemingly separate, is interconnected in the grand tapestry of existence. Now, you might ask, how does breath awareness play into this? Consider for a moment the breath you're drawing in right now. It's not just oxygen filling your lungs, but a part of the world entering your body. Each breath connects you to the phenomena around you, providing a tangible link between you and the universe. So how can we practice mindfulness of phenomena? Let's begin, close your eyes and take a deep breath. Instead of focusing on the breath itself, turn your attention outward. Listen to the sounds around you. The distant hum of traffic, the rustle of leaves, the chirp of a bird. Each sound is a phenomenon. As you listen, observe how these sounds arise and pass away, much like your thoughts and feelings. Next, bring your attention to the sensations on your skin. The warmth of the sun, the coolness of the breeze, the solidity of the ground beneath you. These are all phenomena. Just like with the sounds, observe these sensations without judgment or attachment. Finally, turn your attention to your thoughts. Thoughts, too, are phenomena. They arise in response to external stimuli and pass away when their cause is gone. Observe your thoughts as you would observe a cloud passing in the sky without clinging or resisting. Remember, mindfulness of phenomena is not about trying to control or change what you experience. It's about observing and understanding the nature of phenomena their impermanence, their unsatisfactoriness, and their lack of self. This understanding leads to wisdom, and wisdom leads to liberation. As your practice deepens, you'll begin to see the interconnectedness of all phenomena. You'll realize that you're not separate from the world around you, but an integral part of it. This realization can bring about a profound sense of peace and contentment. So, continue to practice mindfulness of phenomena, Make it a part of your daily routine. With every breath, observe the world around you. With every observation, deepen your understanding. And with every understanding, move one step closer to liberation. By observing phenomena, we see the world as it truly is, not as we think it is, leading to wisdom and liberation. Each of these foundations, while distinct, work together to cultivate a deep sense of mindfulness. Like the four legs of a table, each foundation supports the other, creating a stable platform for our journey towards enlightenment. The first foundation, mindfulness of the body, helps us connect with our physical presence and the subtle rhythms of life. The second foundation, mindfulness of feelings, allows us to observe our emotions without becoming entangled in them. The third foundation, mindfulness of the mind, encourages us to witness our thoughts as transient and ever-changing. The fourth and final foundation, mindfulness of phenomena, engages us in the observation of the world around us, revealing the interconnectedness of all things. As we practice these four foundations of mindfulness, we not only deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us, but we also walk the path that Buddha laid out towards enlightenment.